I'm out of town in rural Virginia visiting my grandson David and his family. He's two and a half. So I was going to take a pass at the video for this edition of HD Clarity. But an opportunity presented itself to make a clarity point, and, well, my knower judger kicked in. I am who I am. Frequently, the folks I work with are working on figuring out how the rules of life they operate by either work well or not so well in their current situations. And it hit me, psychologists tell us, we get these rules and filters and knower judger concepts from our parents and the teachers and the environments around us in between the ages of about three and six. We made decisions about how we fit in the world, right and wrong, tenacity, where we fit in the pecking order, how we get what we want or even if we can get what we want. And David's right on the cusp of starting to write his rules. Oh my God, what a responsibility we have. His mom and dad, my wife and I, all those big people in his life will be responsible for tuning the rest of David's life over the next three or four years. How we let him take risks or helicopter him, how we tell him no just for his safety or because it's not convenient to us at the moment, how we imprint our shortcomings on him or let him manufacture his own, how we protect him from all injury or let him hit the wall once in a while, how we set limits and keep them or flex them, whether he feels okay loving himself or compares himself to others' standards, whether he learns to love his knowledge or learns to love to learn. Whether we want the job or not, it's ours. I've been privileged to have raised two beautiful daughters who married two wonderful guys, and they brought three wonderful grandchildren into my world. And every time one of these little bundles of joy joins the world, I review the productive and less than productive interactions I have with my girls as they were going through this imprinting period. And admittedly, sometimes I've panicked. I hope they don't make that mistake with their kids, but of course, it's part of their knower judger, their rules of life, so most likely they will. Hmm. I remind myself of what I call Eckhart Tolle's three responses. I can accept this situation, I can enjoy these occurrences passively, or I can even engage in them enthusiastically. And I find humor and learning every time one of my grandchildren's moms manages their kids with familiar rules, or even retort, you know where I got that, Pop. One of the reasons we're in the D.C. area this weekend is that our beloved St. Louis Cardinals are playing the Washington Nationals. And my son-in-law snagged us great tickets. So I'm presented with yet another opportunity to pass the torch, keep the fire going, be the young man's future knower judger. Go Cards! This is Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. No! no. <laughs>